Boys and girls, this is Dr. D here. Thanksgiving is coming. So my son Jordan and I are gonna do a poem for you that I taught to them when they were little and have used all the years I've been in JCPS. I'm glad I'm not a turkey when Thanksgiving comes around to be all stuffed with dressing and cooked till I was brown. I'd hate for them to stuff me and cover me with spice. I'd rather be a kid and have a great big slice. Now we're gonna do it with the ostinato. Ready, go. I'm glad I'm not a turkey when Thanksgiving comes around to be all stuffed with dressing and cook till I was brown. I'd hate for them to stuff me and cover me with spice. I'd rather be a kid and have a great big slice. Boys and girls, we're going to do turkeys in honor of Thanksgiving, one of my favorite family holidays. And I have done a variety of them and the ideas came from when my children were little. This particular art piece was done by Adrian, my third child. And if you see, it's a paper plate that's been cut in half. And then construction paper was cut out in the shape of turkey, little orange for the, for the beak and the eyes. And then the uh, instructor had feathers, which I don't have. So, but if you had feathers at home, that would be great. So this is what I did. I took a paper plate. My paper plate is a small white one, so it was a little bit different shape. And I created the body here, colored it, and then attached it to the plate. And then I had some tissue paper, yellow tissue paper, and added that on with, with glue to the body of the turkey. And just to make it a little more interesting, I put aluminum foil around the rim of the plate. You don't have to do that. You could color the plate. You could use more tissue if you'd like. Instead of tissue, you might want to use feathers uh, made of paper. So there's a lot of different options. You could use a bunch of buttons or a bunch of cereal if you wanted to glue that on as well. This was another art piece by one of my children when they were in preschool. And here they took a large paper plate and cut it in half and then added with some construction paper, different strips of construction paper, the head of the turkey and the feet. And then again, using construction paper, this uh, child, H.J., wrote down on the feathers things he was happy for, or he told his teacher things he was happy for. He was too young to write at that time. So here's my modification of that because I don't have construction paper here. Here's again, one of those small paper plates that I bought last week. I created the shape of a turkey, drew it directly onto the plate, and I wrote thanks for, and cut out three feathers. My children, thanks for Marcel, our dog, and thanks for music. So that's my version of this piece. Then, this I just made up. This is again, has the body of the turkey, feathers, and I used different colors um, in the orange family, orange, red, yellows. And then these were all glued to the paper towel, toilet paper roll, okay? And as was the body of the bird to the toilet paper roll. Now, this one we're going to do together, and this is a very common art piece where you use your hand to create the body of a turkey. So I'm going to do that right now, but I'm going to do it using my left hand. This time on that one, I used my right hand, but I can draw it quicker with my left hand down and my right hand drawing. Okay, and so we are going to make this the feet of the turkey. Now you can use black crayon if you'd like instead of the marker. So there's his feet. And then we're just going to add a couple things to the, to make it look like here's, we're gonna add this little lump here for the head and then some of the orange, 
I actually forgot the name of the word that we associate with that piece that comes down from the turkey's face. And we'll put a little beak here. And then we'll give, give the bird an eye. Okay, now you can outline all this with your black marker or your black crayon. Now, you could simply color this a variety of different ways. You could do it with stripes, you could do it with patterns, you could um, do it like I did with a little bit of magic marker and then crayon. If you want to put in the fingers area, which in this case is really gonna be the feathers, if you want to put the names of things that you're thankful for, you could do that. In my case, Margo, H.J., Adrian, and Jordan. Those are my four children. So I put them conveniently in the, that area with the fingers. So again, different ways of coloring it. I like very much to mix colors. I think it makes it more interesting. And you could go ahead and, and do the whole piece that way. Again, other things you could do is you could add cereal, uh, put glue down and add some cereal. You could add rice if you'd like. You could add buttons. Uh, lots of different ways of decorating this turkey. Now, Another thing you could do if you wanted to, I know this Thanksgiving is probably going to be different for most of our families because some of our families from out of town cannot be with us, but if you wanted to turn this into a placemat, you could do that, maybe make it a circle so that it would fit into the size of the plate. If you wanted to do that, it could be a placemat. You could even glue it to a paper plate. So it would be a little sturdier and then put it on top of the dish. So you could do that. You could glue it to a paper plate and then it would be a little sturdier. If you wanted to make it a little fancier, you could also make these fringed. And of course, if you had construction paper, it would look more interesting. But as I've said many times, I don't have that at home. All right, and a lot of you probably don't have it either. All right, so there could be a possible turkey placemat on your plates that you made yourself. I look forward to your artwork, your turkey heart artwork, and please send it to me. Take a photo of it and send it to me at deneen.leblancjefferson.kyschools.us. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.